We're all Danny's World fans. It's not a secret. That's why you're watching this video. However, if you haven't made your way to the Danny's World Discord Reddit, congratulations. You're probably saving yourself. Don't get me wrong. The Danny's World subreddit can be an awesome place. There's 3,000 members of super cool things. For example, this guy built a brick built Goobus. Like, how cool is that? This is awesome. This is really cool. I would love to react to something like this. Not only that, they have a PS2 in the background with Fall Guys beans. Where did you get those? I love those. Can I have some? See, this is a cool guy. And we love this in Danny's world. The only problem with the freaking Reddit, I'll scroll down once. And then I get something like this. I asked you guys what the most underrated ship was. Now for what you think the most overrated one is. Why? Like, I, I get, like, if there's a place that you would talk about ships, I guess it would be in the Danny's World subreddit. It's just, the Reddit is such a mixed bag of goodies, right? It's like, you literally have someone building a cute goob Lego thing at the top, and then you scroll down, and then you see ships. And then guess this, right? Like, guess this. Look at this. So I'll look at this underrated ship, right? And then I scroll down again. And now it's, this one's actually whack. Which character would you have a relationship with? <gasps> like, excuse- This is the- This is the third post down from the top. I, I'll, I'll prove it. Look, here. Here's me at the top. One, two, three. That is all it takes. And then, I'll scroll down one more time. And then it's a cinematic, sad TikTok of Roger holding Toodles turning twisted. It's like- what is going on with the Reddit? Either way, I'm gonna deep dive into some of these different Reddit threads and see what people say. And once again, there is really no hate towards anyone whatsoever during these videos. And for those of you that complain about me overreacting, I do it because you guys like it. It's funny watching my animated skeleton VTuber skin, like, break out and not work sometimes. Either way, make sure you guys don't subscribe. For those of you that don't know, if I get to 25k subs by the end of the month, which is unfortunately looking realistic, I'm gonna have to wear this for Halloween. Let me see if I can still buy it. I don't see it anymore. I might have to do a DIY Danny's World costume. Wait a minute. There's this pajamas that I, I, I could wear with a mask. Yeah, good thing it's set for 5 to 12 year olds. Uh, that's, that's definitely where I'm at. Either way, let's investigate the subreddit a little bit further. I want to see what people were saying about this brick-built goobus. I think it's very, very cool. Yeah, people were saying cool things on this. Like, oh my god, it's so well made. Amazing, wowzers. Is this a real Lego product? I would buy the entire stock. This is so cool. This is cool. But I think this is this guy's original work. So the fact that this isn't one of those pre-built Lego sets is insane. For those of you that don't know what the pre-built Lego set looks like, for example, you could buy this Lego Tuxedo Cat that gives you all the pieces in a build guide on how to build this together. Or you could buy the Star Wars Millennium Falcon for $831 for a couple pieces of plastic. Regardless, this is where Legos has made its living. Thank you for subscribing. Regardless, this guy just handmade this one all together. Genuinely... Super impressive, my guy. Really proud of you. But let's see what people are saying about- I know this is what you want to see. You you guys want to see what people are saying is the most overrated ship? Fine. I'll look, okay? I'll look. Um, uh, any shrimpo ship including shrimple, angry hugs, and tea shrimp. Who said that? Not me. So, here's the thing. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest here. Everything that I'm reading, none of this is is really that bad. Like, it's it's not it's not unhinged. It's relatively tame. People are legitimately having a civil discussion. They all seem a little bit older about ships inside of Dandy's world. And I understand some people don't like me because I don't like ships i just it i just i can't really explain it i guess it's just hard for me it's weird i don't personally like it but just because i don't doesn't mean i don't like anyone that does i think it's okay as long as it's not weird obviously weird is subjective to whoever you are you guys know what i mean when i say weird Okay, but like this, I, I don't have a problem with this. They're saying, oh yeah, Tegan X Roger is overrated. And you know what? I see that ship everywhere. I agree. I think that is a little overrated. People are saying Moonflower is overrated. I'm assuming Moonflower is Astro Dandy. Y'all gonna hate me for saying this? Shell Vision? So here's the thing. I, I guess the ship lore has gone so deep inside of Dandy's world that almost every ship has a ship name. For example, crack ships, 
Shell Vision. Like we said, Moonflower. We have Night Vision, Vistro, Shrimple, T Shrimp. Like these are all Dandy's World ship names. But those were some of the most overrated ships. However, now this, this is when I think things get a little bit weird, right? Which character would you have a relationship with? Okay, so this is, this is where we need to talk, right? This, this is okay to a degree. It wasn't weird. It was civil. It's fine. However, which character would you have a relationship with? Like, what are exactly tunes? By definition, what is a Dandy's World tune? According to AI, a tune in Dandy's World is a character in a Roblox horror game, Dandy's World. Dandy's World is a multiplier mascot horror survival game that has been updated with new tunes and a new map, yada, 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 and so forth. A tune is also a character or an animated cartoon. So, a tune is also a character or an animated cartoon. Okay, now let me think. Well, let's see. Well, hold on. Like, I feel like from searching this, I feel like this search right here is gonna put me on a blacklist somewhere. That's crazy. But on the actual Dandy's World wiki, we have a thread that says, how old do you think each character is? Honestly, I don't know anymore. Well, if Toodles is the only kid, does that mean Shrimpo is abusing children? Facts. Shrimpo hates children? Facts. So, this guy has his whole synopsis of how old he thinks every tune is. It's not canon, and nor should it really be canon. Regardless, right, is... Uh... Also, this guy made a thread called Let's Save Dandy's World. Type hashtag Save Dandy's World. You know what? I'm a, I'm a part of hashtag Save Dandy's World. Hopefully, I can help clean the streets. I'm gonna clean up these dandy streets. But going back, we're not past the whole which character would you have a relationship with. It's, from my standpoint, from my viewpoint, it's weird. I do, I, I admittedly think it is a little weird. Because, uh, and, uh, but like, what if, what if someone unironically like asked like, Oh, hey, another mascot horror game, right? If you had to be in a relationship with any Five Nights at Freddy's character, which one would it be? It wouldn't be that big of a deal, right? I just, I, this is such a, like I said, the, this Reddit is such a mixed bag. Okay, but, but then a, a moderator puts Finn, and on that other page, we saw that Finn might be like eight, but it seems like people are like answering it legitimately. This guy had a full on deep analysis on several tunes as to which ones he would be in a relationship with. Okay, let's scope out. Let's scope out, right? Like, it, it, it really does seem like it. And the way I'm reading these comments, it's, it seems like it's a playful question. Like, it doesn't seem like there's any really sort of, like, animosity towards it. And it, 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 it seems, like, not terrible. Because people aren't being weird. Maybe I'm the one being weird. Because it just seems like it's a question more so angled, like, Oh, hey, we all know Dandy's World lore. Who would you be in a relationship with? I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence. If you can make a poll on YouTube videos, this would be the first poll I ever did on a YouTube video to see what you guys think. Is this weird to you guys? Would whatever I say dictate your opinion on it? And obviously, it's in a Reddit outside of the actual game itself. You have to go out your way to the Reddit thread. On top of that... A moderator literally commented on the thread, so clearly it passed their moderation team, right? There's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong or said against the rules, except, wait a minute, hold on. Bum, 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 bum. In the rules at number 10, it says no shipping. Okay, I'm not reading what that said. Uh, basically, in the server, you can do shipping, it just... Uh, uh, it can't be, uh, extreme, essentially. Regardless, let's move on! I was actually really excited to see this Roger and Toodles meme. Once again, I just, I don't really know how I feel about the whole situation. I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record player. I'm literally vocalizing my thought process throughout the entirety of it. And I'm trying to keep a level head and see both sides and not just outright be, reli like, religiously on one side and, and blow things out of proportion because it seems like as far as things go in the danger community i have kind of polarized myself because i am super hard on stances so i'm gonna open up my mind more okay i'm advancing the skeleton's advancing okay 
but I do want to clean these dandy world streets. Either way, seriously, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Civilly, civilly, right? And don't blast these people either. And like, cause it wasn't like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's just watch this. <laughs> that, that ruined it. That mega ruined it. What, like what is actually wrong with, why? I just told it. It's a cute an innocent tiktok that i was genuinely enjoying being like oh wow that's like actually sad and and th and then they they put the meme and then they add that text why why i don't understand <sighs> all right let's let's see if there's anything else i could possibly save this subreddit as you see here we have shrimp has kidnapped you and is holding you captive in his basement okay this is funny so far this is funny i really hope it doesn't get weird Show him your most recent saved image and it'll decide on whether to let you go or not. Oh boy. Do I dare even investigate this? This guy has battleground mania with a 44% like ratio. This guy has COD 1. Honestly, favorite Call of Duty. I kind of want to play it right now. This looks like a weird mix of like Apex and Overwatch. Okay, that's weird. What on earth is that? Oh, 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 oh boy. Wow. That, that is actually scary. That is, that is intimidating. He's that dude from Pressure. If you were trying to scare me, you've done it. By the way, we've seen this guy before. That's no hate, by the way. If he was going for a creepy look, he smashed it. Craziness. Uh, but I think that that's gonna be enough for me honestly i i think i've seen enough so so yeah i don't know definitely kind of a mixed bag of a video kind of more so i guess a reflection of the danny's world community and just to kind of look into the reddit just to kind of get your guys's thoughts you know either way thank you guys so much for still enjoying my content and making that one short low-key pop off i hope to continue making content that you guys enjoy and don't hate and hopefully not be your least favorite skeleton i do love and appreciate you guys thank you guys so much take care and have a great rest of your day